Well, hi everybody. It's Gino. Well, I knew you knew that because it says it right up here on the hat. Pretty simple. Okay, in today's video, I found this Mickey Mouse vintage stapler. At the same store that I found this, I also found three other vintage Disney things. And they're pretty interesting, but I'm not going to show you them right now. You're going to have to watch the video to find out what they were. Plus, during the day, I went to a few other stores and I found a whole bunch more stuff. So today should be a pretty interesting video. So let's get started. Come on. Okay, guys, I'm dying to get thrifting, and I know you guys are too. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to Back Road Picker Chuck. He has a very interesting thrifting channel, and I like watching him. So what I'm going to do is put a link down below, and after you finish my video, go check him out and tell him I sent you. The second thing I want to do is give you today's trivia question. In what year did the first transistor radio hit the American market? And what was the name of that radio? You know, before the transistor radio, TVs and radios and other electronics were made with tubes, and they were too bulky to make them compact enough. But with the invention of the transistor, Everything changed. It was a milestone in advancement for electronics. Well, I'm going to give you the answer to the trivia question and tell you a little bit more about transistors. But for now, let's get thrifting, guys. Soon as I got my cart, I walked right over to this set of shelves because I saw those three cannons. I picked up the first one. It was really detailed. They were asking $6.99 for it, but they were going for over 30 online. I think the cannon was made of brass, so I really like this one. I went back to get the other one. Turned out it wasn't a cannon. It was a replica Gatling gun, also $6.99. But this, too, was pretty detailed, so I wanted that also. I went back to get the last one. This one didn't have much detail at all and didn't have a price tag, but I ended up getting it for $3. This I look pretty interesting. And as soon as I got close to it, I noticed this United Airline tin. It turned out it was an amenities box that they give to first class passengers. They were asking $5.99 for it. I figured I could get 20 And besides that, I have good luck with airline stuff. I was walking by this shelf. But then I spotted out of the corner of my eye this Tokina wide angle camera lens. They were asking $4.99 for it. And online, they go for 25 It's mine. I came over to this shelf because I saw that Coca-Cola refrigerator magnet. But at $4.99, that was a little bit expensive. So I put it back. Then I saw this Star Wars Cosmic Shells collector's album. They were $4.99. I've sold them before, and they sell pretty fast. And I usually get around $15 for them. This was the last unsearched shelf at this store, so I decided to see what it had on it. Well, I saw this Three Stooges mug, but at $3.99, that was too expensive. So I put it back and just decided to head up to the cashier. I'll meet you guys in the car. Okay, we're going to be heading to the next store. Now, will you guys calm down because we're going to have a good time, and I know we're going to find some good stuff there. You know why I know that? Because I edited the video. Well, makes sense now, doesn't it? Okay, I'll meet you guys at the next store. I was really excited to get to this aisle. Because, remember, I'm the guy who edited the video, so I knew I was going to find something good on it. Well, I saw this Fluger fishing reel. They were asking $4 for it. Online, they go for 50 So this definitely went in the cart. Well, guys, when I got that reel home, I double-checked it to make sure it was new. And it was. It was brand new in a box. So I listed it on eBay for $49.95 plus $9.85 shipping. And it sold the first night. So I made a nice profit on my $4 investment. Okay, now back to the video. Next up on my amazing journey was their toy aisle. On that second shelf down... I saw this Nerf gun. They were only asking $3 for it. It was in really good shape. 
It was called the Desolator. I looked them up online and they were going for over $30. So I put it in the cart with my reel. This was the last aisle at this store. How do I know that? Because I edited the video, silly. First thing I saw was this cow mug. They were asking $2 for it. Like I said, I don't like mugs, but this was so cute. I figured I could get $12, $13 for it. So I put it in a the cart. Then I went back and I saw this Nassau Bahamas mug. It was also $2. It came with the spoon. I figured I'd take a chance with this too. So they both went in the cart. Well, that was it for this store. Now it was time for me to just head up to the cashier and then I was going to go to one more store. And oh, by the way, guys, there's a bonus section at the end of this video. So don't you go anywhere. Be in the car. Okay, it's time we head to the next store. But I wanted to tell you something. If you see anything in this video that you like, just click the link down below and you'll be taken to my eBay store. And there you can buy it. And if you really want... Just tell me your name and tell me you came from my channel and I'll give you a shout out in next week's video. Okay, let's get going. When I got to this first row, it turned out that I got a nice little surprise. These three houses said Disney magic on them. It turned out that Disney made these for the Sears department store back in 1988. Goodwill was only asking $3 a piece for them and online, each one of these was going for over $30. So boy, this was a nice start to this store. They all went in my cart, for sure. Well, I listed those three Disney buildings on eBay. I placed them all on bid. Well, it didn't take long before I got an offer on one for $26 plus $10.95 shipping. Well, I couldn't pass that up since I only paid $3 for it. And remember, I have two more to sell. And out of those two, one of them has a bid on it. So this is going to turn out to be a really nice profit. Okay, guys, now back to the video. This aisle had baskets and artificial fruit. Nothing that I was interested in at all. I did see this wood rocking horse with the metal base. It was only $4. It was really well made, but I ended up leaving it and I really think I made a mistake. I should have bought this. The rest of the aisle didn't hold any interest for me. So I just moved on. The toy aisle brought another little Disney surprise. I saw this Mickey Mouse stapler. It turned out it had age to it. They were asking $4 for it. And this was going for 30 online. Yay, Disney. I came over to this aisle because I saw right at the end of it, this clock. Well, it turned out it was a clock and a barometer, and it was by Seth Thomas. It was made of brass, but obviously had a lot of age to it. I looked it up, and it was going for over $200. So even though they were asking 20 for it, I made sure this one in the cart. Well, that's it. And I head out to the car and give you guys an answer to a trivia question. Oh, but don't forget, there's a bonus section at the end of this video. How do I know? Because I told you guys I edited the video. See you out in the car. Okay, well, it's time for me to go. So let me give you the answer to today's trivia question, which I don't have because I completely forgot. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. So let me give you the answer to today's trivia question. And then I'll be on my way. In what year did the first transistor radio hit the American market? Well, that was in 1954. It was called the Regency TR-1. It was a revolution in electronics. Well, the radio wasn't, but the transistor was. That was a major leap forward. Remember, like I said at the beginning of this video, before that, everything was tubes. They would get too hot. They were too big. They were too bulky. To transistor revolutionized electronics. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take it easy, guys.
Well, I hope you guys are ready because this is the bonus section of my video. This is where I show you excerpts from older videos where I bought stuff and then I break in and I update you guys on what they sold for. It's usually a lot of fun and pretty informative too. Okay, you ready? Well, I am. Here's item number one. I walked over to the shoe aisle. I don't know a lot about shoes, but I do know that work boots and shoes go for quite a bit of money. So I wanted to see what these went for. Well, these were made by a company called Works. They were asking $10 for them. They're in really good condition. And online used, they were going for 40 So I had to take a chance with these. As I said in the video, I don't know much about shoes, especially brand names and stuff like that. I know I buy sneakers and they don't fit on my hands, so I put them on my feet. They fit there and they feel comfortable, so I leave them there. But these particular shoes, they were in good shape. They were only asking $10 for them, so I figured I'd take a chance with them. Well, they ended up selling for $24.95 plus $10.95 shipping. So I ended up making a lot of money, a decent amount of money anyway, on shoes that I knew very little about. You can get lucky in this business too, you know. Okay, now on to the next item. I walked on over to this shelf because I saw that house sitting on top of that piece of styrofoam. Well, as I got closer, I realized it was called Puppy Palace. It was by Blue Sky. Now, I have good luck selling Blue Sky, so I definitely wanted to get this. It was $6.99 on a 25% off day, so it definitely went home with me. As I said in the video, I do pretty well with Blue Sky stuff. And this was no exception. I ended up making $28.95 on it, plus $9.95 shipping. That was a pretty good profit. So you guys should keep your eyes out for Blue Sky and make yourself some money. Okay, now on to the next item. A lot of the toys on this aisle kind of looked familiar. So I figured they hadn't put out many new toys. But then I did see this Power Rangers toy. It was called Time Force. It was the Red Power Ranger. They were only asking $3 for it. I looked it up, and online they were going for over 30 So this definitely went in the cart. I do pretty well with action figures. Actually, I do pretty well with toys in general, especially new in a box toys. Well, this one ended up selling for $27.95 plus $8.95 shipping. So I was thrilled with that on a $3 investment to make that kind of money. So I took the money, I went out and I bought myself an ice cream and I put the rest of the money in my pocket. Okay guys, now on to the next item. Well, I started to walk towards this shelf because it seemed like it had some pretty nice stuff on it too. And right away on that second row down, I saw that blue and white jar. Well, it ended up, it was made by Delph and it was only $2.99 on a 25% off day. How could you pass up a piece of Delft pottery at that price? If you can get a piece of Delft for $2.99, especially on a 25% off day, you're probably gonna make some money on it. Well, this piece ended up selling for $13.95 plus $9.95 shipping. Now, I didn't get rich off it, but it does show you that getting Delft that cheap, you'll probably make money. You almost can't go wrong. And some Delph is worth a lot of money, so keep your eyes out for it. Okay, on to the next item. I was walking around the store, just getting ready to leave, when I spotted these really colorful sneakers. They just caught my eye. I checked them out. They were made by Valentino Garavani. They were asking $15 for them. When I looked these up, they were going for over $200. So they went home with me. I know, I know, I know nothing about shoes, I know nothing about sneakers, so why am I overlooking at them? Well, they just happened to be so colorful that I walked over to them. I saw they were $15, and they were by this guy, Garavani. So I said, well, let me look them up. I'd never heard of that name. And then I saw that used, they were selling for 200 and knew they were going for up to 500 So it didn't take a genius or a shoe expert to figure out that I should take a chance with them. Well, I took them home and they ended up selling for $139.05 plus $10.95 shipping. It turned out that that was the best sale of the week and I was thrilled. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon, real soon. Bye-bye.